In this video, let's go ahead and learn how to sort our data using the order by keyword. So the order by keyword takes a column and then orders the results that we get back by ascending order or descending. So ascending means that if you have numbers is one, two, three, four, five, and this is ascending. So you can see that the numbers are increasing. Well, descending is five, four, three, two, one. And you can see that this is descending. And these are the actual keywords that we use in conjunction with order by. So let's go ahead and pretty much just do a select star and then from person. And then if we want to order by the actual country, so we can say order and then by and then country of and then birth. And by default, the way that this statement will be sorted is by ascending order. So I can even include ascending or leave it like that. So just let me show you. So if I press enter, or oh, actually I've misspelled country. There we go. Press enter again. And now you can see that the results that we get back are sorted by the actual country. So in ascending order, meaning A, and then B, C, D, so on and so forth. So basically ascending and descending, they both work for dates, numbers, and strings. So let's go ahead and quit out of this. So remember I said that the default is ascending. So if I include ascending, you can see that the results are the same. If I press Q and then go back, and now let's reverse the order. So descending, meaning from Z to A, if I press enter, you can see that now the results are sorted from the last letter of the alphabet to A. So if I press Q, we can actually sort by the actual ID. So if I do ID, press enter, you can see that it goes from 1,999 all the way to one. And then if I reverse this, so ascending, it goes from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if I press Q, let's also order by the actual first name. You can see we go all the A's first. Let's go ahead and do descending. You can see that we have all the Z's first. So we can also sort by the email. So instead of first name, we're not going to do last name because it's the same as first name. So email and then descending, enter. You can see that first we get all the nulls, right? So the nulls, because these are empty. And then if I keep on scrolling down, so right here, so oops. So right here you can see that we have then Z, right? Z and then Y, W, so on and so forth. And basically one last thing is that you can combine multiple columns when you sort. So let's go ahead and order by the actual ID. So ID and then email. If I press enter, you can see that first we have ID one, two, three, and then we also have the actual email starting from A. So basically sometimes it's a bit hard to understand exactly what's going on because you have, for example, th uh, five here, but then you have G and then you have C. But basically the rule is when you sort, the rule is when you sort your data, use at most one column. And finally, I also forgot how to sort by the actual date of birth. So by and then date of birth and then enter. You can see that the results are now sorted by the 1920 all the way to 2017. And if I do descending, so descending, you can see that we have 2017 first, all the way down to 1920. And this is how you sort your data using order by. If you have any questions, go ahead and drop me a message. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next video. See ya.